Welcome to this review of the Joyo Guitar Wireless System. This is supposed to take away all your pains and troubles from tangled cables, etc. I should have got one of these a long time ago. This has got decent reviews on Amazon, so I thought I'd give it a go. This is totally honest. It's my opinion. No one else's. I'm not sponsored. So we will get straight into this. We'll talk about latency, build quality, the range of the thing, battery life, how long it takes to charge. We'll also see if there's any noise on high gain settings. As you can see here, what I've got set up so that we can do this in double time. I've got my Boss Katana Mini here. I've got my Nux MG100. I've got my Ibanez RG421PB. I've got it all here so we can plug everything in, see how it all goes. I think just get straight into the unboxing. So this is it. That's a nice, it's actually quite a nice box. You know, it's. A, I think it's made in China. Yeah, it says made in China. There's the instructions. It's fairly tidy. It tells you quite in quite basic terms. Um, you can freeze frame this if you really want to. Um, this is how you set the thing up. It really, you, to be fair, you don't actually need to do any of this. When you first get it, I found, because I don't like to read instructions all that much, unless I really have to. You just get this, you get this, transmitter, receiver, and a cable. You can plug this straight into your guitar when you first, when you first get it. Well, I, that was certainly my experience. I didn't even need to charge a thing. I just thought, why not? Let's test it and see. It could do with a bit of a bit of a boost. You get transmitter, and you can pull it out and you can tweak this. That's one of the features I like. So this this really will fit into most guitars because you can swivel this. And the receiver, this goes into your amp. And so all you need to do when you first get it is switch both of them on. And you can already see they're they're paired. If they blink it means they're not paired and you just need to press the button on the side on the transmitter. It will start blinking. You can see the receiver starts blinking. Press that down and boom, they're paired. It's pretty straightforward stuff. So you've got your up to Optimus Prime eyes there. And if they're both solid, solid blue, it means you're good to go. Blue means that they are charged. When it starts to go orange, that means you should click it, connect it to your charger and get going. Now, this is what you need. They supply this. This is really cool. So it's a USB, goes into USB one end. The other end it has a splitter. So you can charge both the receiver and transmitter all in one, which I think is really, really cool. It means you haven't got to faff around and get, buy more cables or anything. So what I would do, first of all, let's put the transmitter into the guitar and I want to show you what kind of sound we get from the Boss Katana Mini. So both are on, boom, really straightforward. Receiver into the amp, simple as it really couldn't be more simple than this. The other part of it, the transmitter, goes into the bottom of your guitar, which I've done like so. And we should get some sound. There you go. That's just a clean sound. Now, one of the things I wanted to mention was the latency. I haven't detected any. I've been using this system for about a week and it's absolutely brilliant. It means I can walk up and down the living room with no problem at all. And it, <laughs> I wouldn't say it's only keeping me fit, but it's better than sitting down and it's good for your back. It's good for all your joints because you don't get stuck in one spot. It's really, really cool. Um, so build quality. The build quality of these is pretty decent. It's pretty lightweight. You can probably, I noticed a bit of a, can you hear that? A little bit. That's just the on and off switch, which is, and it's a little bit loose. It's no big deal on both. They, this works very well. I've not had any issues with this at all. It feel, this feels quite firm actually. And it does feel like quite a solid unit. It's, it's quite, you know, it does feel like it should hold up. I quite like this. In terms of battery life, as I say, I've been using this for seven days now and I've not had to charge it. That is over, I would say, that is over, I'd say probably each day I've been playing a couple of hours, an hour and a half, two hours. Now, what I do love is when a company over delivers and uh, they under promise. They say a full charge should last you about eight hours. I think I've actually gone over that at this point and I'm still on blue eyes on both units. I absolutely love that. The first time I got it, I did in fact charge it after I'd tried it the f first initially. It took me maybe half an hour, an hour. And yeah, I, I suppose probably they do quote two or three hours, I think, for a full charge. So expect that, I suppose, from completely dead. But otherwise, I mean, it, the charging and all that stuff, latency, brilliant. Build quality, decent. 
range now that's something i really wanted to get into because the range i've got um I'll, I'll insert some footage here as well my living room is about 27 feet and my garden's about 60 feet so they quote 100 feet worth of um, distance inside that this thing can work as you will see in this video it works all the way up and down i'm super super impressed and I'm going outside the house, all the way down the bottom of the garden, and it's still working. I just couldn't believe it. I thought there might be some breakup. I thought we might have some issues with it, but it works absolutely fine. And as I say, for walking up and down my sort of 27 foot odd living room, absolutely brilliant. So I can't really ask for more than that, really, can you? I think they quote somewhere, they say 100 foot on the box. In the instructions, I actually think they say 20 meters. So they're kind of, so I think 20 meters is more like 65 feet odd. But anyway, it's it's that and more. So maybe let's test this some game because that was a clean channel. And as I say, from my perspective, it hasn't affected the tone at all. I'm very, very happy with the tone. So I'll flick this back on. So that's the, so that's clean. As you can hear, there's like, there's no, there's no noise coming from it. That's how it basically sounds when I've got it plugged in normally just with a cable. So if I put on the gain, now to be fair, there is, there's a little bit of shh in the background, but that's with gain. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna overdo that because that's not a very nice sound without doing some playing on it. So let's just quickly, I wanna show you, does it make any difference if I plug in a cable? Because I think the Katana Mini has a little bit of noise anyway. And I think that's just a normal amount of noise. It's not um, It's not really adding any noise, but we will see. Let's test it. Let's test it. Let's switch it on. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it does add a bit of noise. Okay. We'll go back to the, we'll go back to the wireless and see. So receiver, boom, transmitter in to the guitar. And we will see if it does. Because you could hear then there wasn't really much noise. Okay, fair dues. There might be a little bit of noise um, in the background when you've got gain on. But I suppose you could tweak this, tweak if you take tweak that down. If you tweak your treble and middle, maybe that you could remove some noise from that. To me, it doesn't make a big difference. I'm not too worried about that. Um, it still sounds really cool, but there you go. So that's that's the truth of the matter. It does possibly add a little bit of noise because I've seen some people mentioning that um, if you're on a really high gain setting, that's probably the nature of the wireless. I don't know. Uh, maybe you need to spend a lot more than this. I, you know, I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. If you do ever want another wireless system, is that something you need to contend with? Don't know. OK, so what we will do now, I need to figure this out quickly. So we will plug this in here because I want to see how it works with pedals. So pedal wise, that's input, input. Uh, actually, that should probably be output. This is gonna get fun. So receiver will stick into the back of the pedal, if I can find the hole to put it in. There we go. And we'll put this in, we'll put the transmitter into the guitar. And we'll try that. That works fine as well. So it does work straight into a pedal. As you can see, works absolutely fine. No issues there at all. That's super high gain, don't worry about that. That will blow your speakers. Yeah, it's that, it's, so it's a really nice little unit. I just wanna see if there's anything else that I could, should cover. Um, QC seems decent, I really like it. Ease of use, it couldn't be much easier if you've got any problems. Um, it avoids the cat's cradle of lots of cables and bits and pieces. I foster dogs, etc. It means that they're not going to trip over. They're not going to trip over cables. Some are a bit more klutzy than others, and they will trip over cables. Others are better, but <laughs> even I trip over cables sometimes. So it's very nice not to have that. So they're quoting a decent range, but it's more than that. They're quoting battery life, but it's more than that. So far, Joyo, I think this is a really, really cool product. So I'm not sponsored by them. I've got no vested interest in saying nice things. I just think this is a really, really cool thing. And I wish I'd got it so much sooner. I really like it. You can make your own mind up. And I hope that was useful. Cheers. See you in the next one.